This video is about something critical to our modern world. Without rock quarries, there would be no roads, buildings, or bridges. Let's go behind the scenes to explore the quarry mining process. Come along on our construction adventure exploring the mining techniques, including the mining equipment and quarry blasting of open pit surface mines. Surface mining means it's not underground, so that includes mountaintop removal as well as high wall mining, which is taking rocks off a high cliff. Stay till the end where we consider equipment and environmental concerns and solutions. One of the first steps in the mining process is to remove the overburden or soil that blankets the rocks called aggregate in the mining industry. Sometimes the rocks are not easy to get to and you need to bring in the big guns, like this CAT 6200 rotary blast hole drill. This mining equipment drills holes according to a scientifically designed pattern so explosives can be loaded to blast the hillside. Quarry blasting, air and ground movement can be measured. Once the rock has been liberated from the hillside, it gets transported by either a truck or conveyor belt to the sorting area. Autonomous rock hauling trucks have become more common. If you've seen one in action, leave a comment below. In mining, screening and sorting are crucial processes for separating materials based on size and properties. Mechanical vibrating screens separate rocks into different sizes and sometimes electronic sensors are used. Here you see rocks ranging from 500 pounds up to 4 tons. Portable screens and sorting conveyors like this power screen equipment are good for processing materials in remote quarry areas and special production runs that require unique screening of the material. Trucks licensed for highway use pick up the rocks for delivery to construction sites. Empty delivery trucks are weighed as they enter the quarry. The invoice or ticket price is determined by the difference between the entry and the exit weights times the price per ton of the material. The sales tickets are also used for determining inventory of rock available for sale. The pile of rocks you see here might seem like a pile of rocks, but it's actually inventory to a surface mine. Just like a grocery store has to periodically inventory its stock, quarry operations have to inventory the rock on hand, both for a financial accounting and for projecting adequate availability of supplies for upcoming big construction projects. Drones and 3D modeling are used to determine the volume of the rock piles and a good inventory. Working with heavy rocks requires heavy equipment. In the United States, that's often heavy yellow cat equipment. In this video, we've seen a Cat 998 wheel loader, a Cat D10 and D11 dozer, a Cat 390 excavator, a Cat 745 C articulated haul truck and this beast, the CAT 775G haul truck, which can hold up to 75 tons of construction material. And the bare chassis weighs about 38 tons. Accidents do happen and this one caught on fire. Thankfully, no one was injured. Mining haul roads are critical paths and need to be cleared to minimize business interruption. Even older mining equipment can cost over a million dollars. To keep the mining operations going, equipment needs to be maintained and repaired quickly. Mining equipment is visually inspected before each use and maintained on a regular basis. Changing the huge tire on a CAT 998H wheel loader is a bit more complicated than your car. Mining is loud, dusty, and tears the topography apart, but it's necessary for society, good for the local economy, and provides jobs. Mining has a bad reputation, but it's actually one of the safest and heavily regulated industries in the United States. There's a saying in the mining industry, if it's not documented, it didn't happen. Miners are required by the regulatory agencies to file restoration plans before they start. During mine operations, the mine owner is required to measure, control, and report the levels of dust and stormwater runoff. Hey, did you know that in the United States, rocks are commonly recycled? Both concrete and asphalt can be crushed and the rocks reused. Thanks a ton for visiting That Place channel. Check out one of these other videos of mine.